guys, Wisteria. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is pathetic. <laughs> hey guys, Wisteria Moon here, and today it is Thursday, and Play Wild has actually just released a pretty intense update, which I've heard is actually jam-packed full of brand new features. And yes, this actually did come out yesterday, but it was pretty late in the day, so I figured I'd just uh, make the update today. Now, before I get into it, I just have to uh, make one little declaration, which is that I think I might be getting slightly sick or some kind of cold. I don't know. This usually always happens to me during seasonal changes. It's one of the uh, great joys of the emergence of spring. It's uh, kind of a struggle for me, guys, but yes, my voice is um, a little weird right now. It's not too noticeable, but I can't really do any screaming, so, you know, I, I know probably a lot of you won't even care. You'll just be like, finally, a relax with Siri Moon video. But, you know, I'll try my best to make this good anyway and not let my uh, voice stand in the way. Also, sorry if you hear any uh, weird background noise. There's a lot of construction going on today. But anyways, now I'm gonna <coughs> try to stop rambling here and hop straight into these Animal Jam Play Wild updates. Because yes, as I mentioned before, they're is a ton of new stuff coming out. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing is Play Wild has actually changed the format of the Jama Journal. It now looks a lot more similar to Animal Jam's Jama Journal, or like the desktop version of Animal Jam's Jama Journal. And I kind of like this format better, to be honest, because it's just a lot more consistent than it was before. So yeah, it's kind of cool. We can see all our new features outlined below, and it looks like there is a ton. So the first one that's standing out to me is Sabertooths are here, ah! about to be extinct and gone from Jama forever. Sabertooths have made their triumphant return. They've been asleep for a long time, and these ancient cats are ready to stretch out their legs. Head out and become a saber tooth today. Wow, that is super exciting stuff. So yes, guys, saber tooth tigers were actually teased in the desktop version of Animal Jam, but I personally had no idea that they were coming to play wild. So this is a uh, pleasant surprise for me, and I am super excited to get my hands on brand new saber tooth. I don't know when they're coming out on the desktop Animal Jam, but hopefully soon as well. Now let's head on over to the next page. So here we have the spring cottage. Ooh, the spring cottage has returned just in time for the season. The seasonal den is the perfect nook for rustic jammers. <laughs> rustic jammers, what does that even mean? Who love the spring. It has all the room you need to create a garden that will be the envy of Jama. Wow. Well, guys, I uh, definitely cannot wait to be the envy of Jama. I don't actually think that I have a spring cottage, even though it does come out uh, seasonally, so this isn't technically like a new release, it's just a seasonal release. But still, this will be a pretty fun thing to get because, again, I don't have one. I didn't really start playing Animal Jam Play Wild until a couple months ago, so this is some very exciting stuff. So now, on the next page, we have forest runs. Ooh, what is this? Join members of your pack as you explore the forest and race together as many fireflies as you can. <gasps> the more fire fireflies together, the more rewards you and your pack will earn. Oh my goodness, guys. This definitely sounds like something super fun that I'm going to have to test out. I don't know if I'll even have time to test out in this video, to be honest, but this is an incredible new feature. Like, honestly, I'm really glad that Animal Jam has included a pack-related update because I was starting to feel like the packs were going a little bit stale. I'm never on when my pack members are on, so that's the first issue right there, but yeah, I think it's really great that packs are now taking a spotlight again because it's kind of hard to stay active when there's not much to do. So I'm really excited to try this out, but again, it's probably going to have to be in an upcoming video. So now on the next page we have pack leaderboards. Oh yes, now this is really what I've been needing. Curious to see how successful your pack has been in their forest runs. Want to be the best collector in your pack? Check out the leaderboard in your pack hideout to see your pack's forest run stats. Oh yes guys, we're gonna get real competitive up in here. I want my pack to be the best pack. When I start up these forest runs, I'm going all in guys, all right? Wisteria Moon pack is going to be the best pack in all of Play Wild. I'm going to recruit the most elite team members. But yes, uh, again, gonna have to wait on this a little bit because today Today's priorities are checking out all of the new features like the new animal and done and such. Anyways, on the next page we have dash tag, so I guess this is just a little promo, which is fine, but you know, I I'm already pretty well acquainted with dash tag. I've actually almost beaten it. I do have about three quarters of the pets collected so far, so I think that's pretty good. And I do have a dash tag video recorded, I just uh, <laughs> now have to edit it and put it up. You know, life has been very busy lately, guys. I wish I could say that I'm exaggerating, but I've literally not had time for anything recently because of school, so yeah, that's just uh, something I thought I'd throw out because I know I've been kind of gone lately for a while, but anyways, I'll just give this a quick read for the sake of it. Run, slide, jump, and dash to escape your babysitter in dash tag. Unlock rare pets by tagging them. This new endless runner game is now available for Apple and Android mobile devices. Download it today for free. So yes, guys, you can get this app on Apple devices, Android devices, anything you want, just as long as it's mobile. And again, it is very fun. I would highly recommend it. But now let's head on over to the next page. So here we have ancient skeletal armor. Oh man, if you're in need of another skeleton to go with the one you already have, get your bones right with the new ancient skeletal armor. Wow. Wow. Well, I didn't really know that I needed a new set of bones, but I guess that's pretty fun. Yeah, so maybe we're gonna have to check this out. And then on the next page, we have spring accessories. Ooh. Spring is still in full swing, so be sure to pick up all the fresh and floral accessories around your mom. Well, that sounds uh, pretty adorable, I have to say. We definitely will be checking out some of these new spring accessories. That will be super fun. And then on the next page, we have the saber 
huge bundle. Well guys, I saw this coming from a mile away. Right when they announced the skeletal armor, I'm like, hmm, this sounds like a bundled item. Get armored up in ancient styles with a saber tooth bundle. It comes with ancient skeletal armor, exclusive ancient flower armor that isn't available anywhere else, and a saber tooth to dress up. Well guys, I'm definitely going to be uh, purchasing this bundle because I think that it'll be a very fun way to investigate the brand new saber tooth and uh, some of these exclusive armor sets that are available. So yes, I will be getting that. And oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Is all of this new as well? Holy heck. Okay, well here we have an advertisement, which doesn't really count as an update. Gem Squad, ooh. Have no fear that Gem Squad is here. Now you can collect these spectacular heroes like Sir Spooky Toes and Swift Tiny Fire. You know, I actually have not received one of these Gem Squad toys. You know, Normal Dream has not been showing me the loaf lately. Sometimes they will send me uh, promo toys to unbox, but I don't think I've gotten anything recently. I'll double check next time I go home though. But yes, apparently you can get these at Walmart. It's just a, a new form of an Animal Gem toy, basically. Luckily, they have codes that you can redeem on AnimalGem.com, so that's also pretty fun. And, oh, okay, so apparently these are some of our older updates, like the Traveling Salesman, Alpine Lodge, New Goat, and New Dove, but luckily I've already checked up on all that, so I guess we're good. So first, here's my daily member gift. That is pretty exciting. And also got an Epic Skull Helmet, which kind of reminds me of a Day of the Dead type of theme. I think that's Dia de los Muertos in Spanish, probably. Guys, please excuse my terrible Spanish. I was more of a French kid myself. You know, I, I took French class. Not the best with Spanish, sadly. But anyways, oh yeah, forgot to mention, you know, I, I did create Play Wild Update video last week and got this uh, super fun April Fool's Day armor set, but then I just ended up not even having the time to upload that video, so that ended amazingly. Anyways, <laughs> I think our first move is going to be to head on over to the Sapphire shop and check out this brand new Sabertooth Tiger. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and get the whole bundle here. Spoilers! Spoilers! How could they already be spoiling this for me? This is so sad. Anyways, gonna go ahead and click on this ancient saber tooth bundle. It costs 250 sapphires, but we do get a saber tooth, skeletal armor, and exclusive ancient flower armor, which kind of reminds me of those like weird munchy things in Super Mario, so that's pretty fun. Anyways, there we have it, our saber tooth. Woo! Let's go ahead and accept that. We got our skeletal helmet, amulet, armor, gauntlets, and tail armor. And now we got our flower helmet, which looks thoroughly terrifying. Our amulet, our armor, gauntlets, and flower tail armor. Amazing, amazing stuff. Now I'm just gonna have to find some quiet location to test all of this out. So here we have it. Here is our brand new Sabertooth Tiger. And you know, my first impression is that, you know, it's cool looking, but I can't get over how flattened out the top of it looks. <laughs> well, I know that that's how the Sabertooth Tiger is supposed to look, but it's just kind of funny. It's just completely flat at the top. Anyways, you know, before anything else, I'm just gonna go ahead and check out some of its moves. Oh yes, I am liking that dance move. It's like an aggressive cha-cha. <laughs> that's some amazing stuff. I, I can't explain it, but this animal just looks so angry. It just has so much rage within it. And then the next action, ooh, this is a play action. It looks like it's, oh, it's pouncing. It's some aggressive stuff. Once again, the very, very angry animal. And now let's try out our jump. It jumps, um, hmm. Well, I don't know how to feel about this jump because it pretty much like transports or launches itself forward. It looks a little bit glitchy, but you know, I guess it does take the uh, Play Wild developers some time to work out those glitches. And here is our little sit. It again looks very Neanderthal-esque. It's just kind of hunched over, scowling. And our sleep. Somehow even the sleep looks angry. Got a lot of internal rage going on here. But anyways, aside from that, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this appearance. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's the eyes. Maybe if we change the eyes to like an eyelash look with like hearts. Nope, and the heart eyes look angry. There's actually no eye option that really mitigates this anger, except maybe the large eye. Kind of helps a little. Just a little bit. Now we can go ahead and change the pattern, but personally, I like to stick with the traditionals for animals like this who are very defined by their patterns. So I am actually going to keep it striped because you know I, I just think it looks good no i'm also not quite sure why they decided to make the default color pink i think that's kind of weird i feel like saber tooth tigers would kind of be like a tannish color so i'm actually going to be switching it over to that for now unless i decide later on for some reason that it should be a different color i'll also make the under fur this kind of grayish white i think that that looks a lot more natural of course i don't know why the teeth are that color it's kind of disturbing probably needs to brush its teeth but we'll make the eyes uh hmm, we'll make the eyes this golden color and i'm actually going to be switching to the normal sized eye so yeah, I think that that's looking pretty good. We're looking a lot more natural. But now let's go ahead and try on these armor sets. So first I'm going to be trying on the exclusive armor set that comes with the bundle only. There we go. We've got our complete set notification. And uh, wow, I do not know how to feel about this, guys. First of all, the armor set is apparently smelly or something. We've got this green cloud of vapor emanating off of us. That's um, it's very interesting. You know, 
It just basically looks like we're smelling up the whole room. I don't really know if this is the look I'm going for, but you know, I guess we might as well embrace it. You know, we're gonna embrace our stinkiness. Oh yeah, what a look right here, guys. What a look. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel about this exclusive armor set. Again, I just feel like this is just more of meme material for me personally, guys. So yeah, um, I don't really know if the bundle is for you, unless you really uh, tend to like this exclusive armor set, but I think it has its perks. First of all, this flower tail is very pretty. Some of this stuff would look better on its own. The helmet kind of stands in the way honestly just because it's so oversized i mean just take a look at it without the helmet you know it's almost it's almost cute well <laughs> you know maybe on a on a different animal it would be but you know kind of dig it definitely has its nice qualities I like that color gradation it's very nice but now let's go ahead and check out this ancient skeletal armor i definitely feel like this is better suited to the saber tooth got our little set complete thing there and we've got a lovely cloud of dust emanating off of us which is amazing there's nothing i love more than uh dust clouds following us wherever we go. The gauntlets, they're they're very overbearing. This uh, set is definitely very aggressive, but for that reason, it seems to fit the saber tooth pretty well. This honestly just looks like a terrifying creature and a terrifying armor set, so no, I'm not really sure if I'm feeling that aggressive at the moment, but maybe I'll whip this out when I'm feeling real angry. You guys know what I mean. If I'm ready to start a fight or perhaps join a clan, you know? Some real intimidating stuff. I definitely think the helmet is the best part of this, but again, you can purchase this skeletal armor on its own, actually, in the sapphire shop, so that's another thing. You don't have to get the bundle to get this armor set, so yeah. Overall, my thoughts on this bundle are that, um, you know, it's it's really a personal preference, guys. Personally, neither of these armor sets are quite my thing, but then again, I guess I'm kind of biased. I don't really tend to like most of the Play Wild armor sets. I just feel like, uh, they're a little over the top, guys. They're a little extra. In terms of the Sabertooth itself, I feel like, again, it comes down to a preference type of deal, because the thing is, a Sabertooth is a nice animal. Like, it's obviously nicely animated and executed, but it's very angry looking. You know, I, I think you're really gonna enjoy this a lot if- oh my gosh, that is some terrifying stuff right there. Holy heck. Okay, that skull helmet is definitely some nightmare material right there. No joke. Anyway, the saber tooth tiger is just a very aggressive looking animal, so just keep that in mind if you're gonna buy it, guys. You know, I, I think it's definitely great for cleaning and role-playing because it's very intimidating looking, but there's honestly- <laughs> wow, that gnome has goals right there. But yeah, there's honestly no way to uh, make the saber tooth not seem entirely intimidating. It even looks scary with this gnome hat on somehow. Like, there's not not a single thing you can put on it that doesn't make it look uh no just kind of scary. Uh, at least the sunglasses aren't as bad. I actually kind of like that cheetah mane on it. I don't know why, but kind of digging it. We're kind of looking rad as heck right now, to be perfectly honest. Oh yeah, I gotta add some dizzy stars in there. Man, we're popping. We're popping now. <laughs> I feel like I look like a total skater dude. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna keep this look, guys. So one thing that's making this tiger not look totally terrifying. Oh yeah, about to hit the beach. Feeling great. But anyways, I'm actually just gonna hit up this treasure hunt real quick and see if we can catch any saber tooth specific items. Ooh, would you look at that? Looks like our prize for today that we're going to be aiming for is some giant fly trap head. Oh man, I didn't get it. That is some unfortunate stuff. But you know, that, that was a pretty cool prize, I have to say. Hopefully I get it another day. Anyway, let's just double check what else we've got. Oh yes, the spring cottage done. Let us check that out. So if we head all the way to the back here and click this button, we can see that the spring cottage is now available. So I'm just going to be purchasing that real quick and heading on over to my den. So now let's go ahead, switch to the spring cottage. Oh yes, would you all check out this loafliness? It actually looks similar, very similar to the spring cottage on the desktop animal gym. Almost has the exact layout. So I don't really feel like we need to go through an extensive tour. This little dock really speaks to me. I think that that's super adorable. And we got a little waterfall area up in here to hang out in. Can kind of hang out in this part of the yard too. Maybe set up some picnic tables. And ooh, looks like we can also go down here. Wow, I did not realize how expansive the yard area was down here. That is pretty exquisite. And then we can also circle back up to the inside of the den. One thing kind of bothering me about this spring cottage setup is the darkness of it. I'm not really crazy about about all that shadowing. Maybe we can liven it up with some cherry blossom walls and maybe we'll do some stone floors. This doesn't look the best, but you know, it, it's a good start. It's good for now. I don't really feel up for decorating, but I will check the Jam Mart furniture store, see what spring items I might have added. Ooh, looks like we've got flower lamp. That's pretty adorable. Candy basket, some Easter themed stuff that's basically still lingering even though Easter just passed. Hidden egg. That is some very mysterious stuff. Could have had an egg hunt. Ooh, and a giant nest egg. I always go for that. Waffle couch. This just makes me want to eat 
eat waffles. But yes, as you can see, I'm officially running out of gems, so RIP. Looks like I can't really buy any spring items. All I really have is this amazing egg window. It's absolutely breathtaking. And yeah, actually, I think I'd rather have a wood floor at this point. And that stone one, that was just not working for me. But anyways, I probably will be decorating this down a little bit later. I just can't get to it right now because there's so much stuff to go over. But I am definitely looking forward to making this into a cute little spring setup because I tend to like to decorate my dens on Play Wild. It's just a very fun, therapeutic activity for me. Like, would you look at that? This is just such a cute little resting area. Got our little umbrella, table and chairs. Amazing. It's just so satisfying, my friends. Alrighty, guys. So that's pretty much it for the main portion of our new features. But I am going to be popping into the pack hideout real quick just to do a brief little overview of the new pack features. But again, I'm not actually going to be doing a forest run because I feel like that's just a lot for one video. And I kind of want to make that a little bit more special, especially considering that probably the majority of my fellow pack members are not even around right now. Oh, got some gems from a little chest. Some fun stuff. Anyways, as you can see though, there is a new forest run button and we can click on our pack stats. Oh, wow. We collected 972 fireflies. I don't know if that's a lot, but uh, wow, amazing. At this point, I might honestly start reconfiguring my pack to see which members are the most active because I do think that it would be fun to actually be competitive with other packs. And here is pretty much a direct determinant of who is active and who's not. But of course, as you can see, there are a lot, quite a few pack joining requests. So if by any chance you do get invited to my pack, be sure that you're an active member. Also, what the heck? This pack is so active. 35,000 fireflies. This update literally just came out. How is that even possible? Ugh, Wisteria World isn't even in the top 20. This is just sad, guys. This needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed immediately. I'm going to be reconfiguring my pack ASAP. I want only the most elite pack members. All right, Wisteria World is going to be at the top. Also, I I really like this name, The Breakfast Club. That is amazing. Anyways, yes, I do think that it is really amazing that Play Wild has now included this feature because it's really nice to see high rank compared to other packs. And uh, I will have to do a forest run soon, but I'm going to be doing that in my next video, guys. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, I really hope that you all enjoyed this little Play Wild update and review video. Please be sure to comment below your thoughts on this brand new tiger animal and the new pack updates because I'm really curious to see what you all think. And with that, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.